So you can also transfer 2D coordinates if you like. Say, for example, we wanted to start drawing the elevation view of this building. I'll just spin around. Basically, you would set up a UCS in relation to this plane and start drawing your elevation work. So this gives the user additional ways to take advantage of their point cloud data, and it's a highly visual way to use the data. Okay, let me jump back into the presentation here. And I want to talk about the free edition. Now, our free edition in the past is obsolete. This is a new Cuba Point Cloud free edition. And um, I told you before that AutoCAD 2011 does contain some imports, and these imports are for the Faro and LAS files. Um, of course, kind of missing some gaps in 2011, and Qubit wants to fill the gap for some of the imports uh, that aren't available, such as traditional ASCII or text files, PTS files, um, RSP. Let's say you have a Regal scan project. Uh, you can import that directly, and uh, the PTZ format. Basically, what we're doing is providing a free import to convert to PCG so that users from other file formats can import directly, convert to PCG, and see and visualize their scan data inside AutoCAD. This way, you don't have to purchase a third-party software in order to view stuff in AutoCAD. You can just go to our website and download the free edition. And let me take you to our website so you can see how to navigate there. This is going to take us to the Qubit USA homepage. And what we're going to do is click on products and click on point cloud. And at the top, of course, you see the same text. And here's your link. This will give you the full install for Qubit point cloud. Uh, but it has no capabilities besides the fact that you can import data to PCG. It will do your conversions for you. So this is great for your customers also that don't want to purchase software but want to visualize the scan data maybe that they're paying for. And here's also the video that I mentioned earlier. For those of you that are not as familiar with uh, laser scanning, this will show the from uh, field to CAD type of uh, workflow. OK, so we've got a lot of people asking us, what's going on in the future for Qubit? When the rumors started spreading that an engine was coming out for AutoCAD and Autodesk would be supporting a native engine, uh, we had a lot of questions about, uh, is this the end of Qubit Point Cloud? And I think you can see that, no, we're always trying to stay one or two steps ahead. And where the programming for Autodesk ends, that's where Qubits begins. So in the future, what we anticipate is that we'll no longer focus on the PTC engine. We'll probably phase it out eventually um, and concentrate on the PCG engine. Again, the focus is really on design automation and feature extraction for specific industries. For example, working on routines for much faster piping design, more routines for topo, more routines that are BIM related. These are the type of things that we really, really want to push. And as far as future functionality, well, it always is based on what the customers and what the prospects and what the industry is demanding. So our challenge to you is, what is your idea? We really, really want to know. And don't just send us an email shouting just an idea. We Tell us in detail. Write us an email and let us know in detail. I can promise you that if you send me an email, I will forward it to the developers personally, as long as it has a description of why it's needed in the industry. So please let us know. The more we get a demand for a specific feature, the more it moves up in the priority list. So please send us your ideas. We're all ears. Thank you again for, um, for attending. This has been a very successful webinar for us. We've had a number of people sitting in and obviously a lot of interest. If you'd like to have a full trial, uh, please contact your local Qubit representative. If you're in the US and Canada, you can go to qubitusa.com. You can even email us directly, scott.diaz at qubit.de or at qubitusa.com. Either one will work. And we look forward to hearing from you and hearing your ideas as well. We'll also be sending out a feedback form. If you would, please take the time to fill it out. It would be much appreciated. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed everything. And we hope to talk to you soon.